I really love Moonlight so much. Um, I thought, um, I mean, everyone, every movie I've seen so far has pretty incredible. I mean, Amy Adams in Arrival is so good, and Emma Stone in La La Land is so wonderful. And um, yeah, I just, I love, I love a lot of things that I've seen this year. La La Land. I'm a big fan of Ryan. Um, we, we, we have some folks in common. I always root for him. There was an effort there to do something that hadn't quite been done in, in, in some time or in, in that way. So I really appreciate that. But I also love the effort and performances in Manchester by the sea. So um, I know I'm cheating, but <laughs> that's my answer. I'm sticking to it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, um, any of the women that are sort of being talked about are so deserving. Um, Isabel Hubert. She's a legend, Annette Benning as well, but then there's the wonderful performances of Natalie Portman, who is so fantastic, and Jackie, and she's just such a lovely girl. Emma Stone and uh, Ruth Naga, I can keep going. Uh, so it's hard to just pick one, you know, and that's, that's what's kind of great about being in this category and being in the category this year is that you can sort of cheer for everybody you're supposedly competing against because you're really um, excited to be included among them. I'd love to see Viola win. Uh, one, I'd love to see Janelle Monet win an Oscar. Viola Davis is one of the greatest actresses of our time, and it's, we need to crown her. And of course, I'd like to see Taraji walk away with her Oscar. Right now, based on what I know, would throw my weight behind Moonlight, but that is subject to change. But I feel similarly how I do about Hidden Figures, that it's an important tale that anybody who's a human being will benefit from seeing. And it will affect you in a, in a beautiful way, I would think. I really adore Barry and Moonlight and Barry Jenkins, so I, and I, I find that that movie's really like speaking to me in a weird way. Like I love the ambient gentleness of it, and I find like that's so hard to get away with in the big leagues of filmmaking. So if a film can, if he can win some awards, it's not just great for him and for diversity in America, but it's great for like gentler films, you know, which I hope to be making more of. So I'm just thinking selfishly here.